Hello everyone, this is Sarah with WebFits and I wanted to share my first um, sales video. I've been selling on eBay for quite some time but really have just started taking it seriously this summer and this is my first full month of all uh, you know full steam ahead so I thought I would share my my numbers for August so you can see I did just under three thousand dollars for the month of August sold 102 items and my average uh, price per item is about twenty eight fifty I'm looking to get that up in the next couple of months I would like to see it at least at fifty for my average sale price but right now I've got a lot of smalls missed, uh, listed and they're selling so um, once I get those cycled out I'm looking to get my my cost per or my price per item a little bit higher. So let's look at some of the things that I sold this month. Um, this is a Harley Davidson rain suit that I bought um, at a thrift store for about nine dollars. It's an extra large. Um, came with the jacket and the bib overalls, and um, I took a best offer on this for actually fifty dollars because I just wanted to move it. I am a fast nickel kind of girl. And um, I like to just let things go um, if I get a fair offer on them. So that was the first thing. Um, I like to sell toys. It's one of my favorite items to sell. Um, this is a lot of Thomas Brio um, Imaginarium train tracks and a lot of cars in this set. Um, a lot of people and extra extra items so came with that mat too um, sold this for forty dollars took a best offer on this and I paid eight dollars for this so um, I bought 13 bottles of this spot remover at a volunteers of America for three dollars each so I have not uh, thirty nine dollars in the entire lot and so far I have sold six uh, no I've sold four bottles at $19.99 so um, pretty good return on my investment there so how about this huge lot of Barbie stuff and it, it was one of those huge tubs um, that basically took the entire back seat of my car to, to bring home I bought it at a, a Goodwill that used to have these auctions um, where they put stuff in a glass case and you go up and do like a silent auction kind of thing and then they would auction it off on Saturdays and they have decided not to do that anymore so they have put things in their glass case and just put prices on them for maybe some higher end stuff and this was a huge lot of Barbie stuff that I bought for fifty dollars um, I recognize these particular Barbies as being vintage and um, two of the three Barbies are vintage um, all of the clothes are vintage um, in the late 60s and um, I did not know what to price this at so I started it on a five-day auction for um, $69.99 and uh, it got bid up to $144.72 um, I also sold you know there weren't just Barbies in that lot there were a lot of other things um, actually this was three tubs of stuff um, I bought another lot that was a huge tub but this was three tubs of stuff and um, I sold $65 worth of other items out of the three tubs for, for $50 and I still have several things in my store for sale so that was a really good uh, really good return and, and it's been quick because I've only had this for two weeks I think um, this is a back to life massager and I come I come across these every once in a while um, this one was new in box and um, it just had some so where somebody had retaped the top I bought it at a thrift store for twenty dollars and I think it probably was only listed for about two weeks um, and that sold this was an old lot of hero scape that I had on the shelf and, and didn't want to list because all of, you know dealing with all of those tiny little pieces um, but I did take a best offer on this it sold pretty quick once I got it listed um, I think I sold this for $39. This is an outdoor um, subwoofer, like garden speaker. And I found two of these at a Goodwill. It had not been used um, for $20 each. So I sold one and I have the other one left still. But you know, that's a pretty good return and um, didn't take too long to sell that. 
This is a Chicago Bulls championship hat that I found for two bucks at a Goodwill and did that $29 with free ship, $29.99 with free ship. Uh, I like my auto parts. I'm a, kind, a girl that likes cars and um, was raised around cars and married to a mechanic for a while. And um, I saw this and knew instantly it was a Mustang emblem. Um, I think I paid $3 for it at Goodwill and it sold within a couple of weeks at $29.99 plus shipping. Um, I saw these at a church yard sale. I love church yard sales because it's usually a lot of stuff that is donated to the church that they price reasonably well and they just want to get rid of. So, um, I do shop at a lot of, a lot of church sales are my favorites. I got this lot of, uh, Daisy wheel, um, uh, wheel riders and I paid $1 for all of them. And I think I took a best offer of $80 for this lot. All right. If you don't know about this type of equipment, um, this is for special needs kids. I know that because I had a special needs kid and he had one of these chairs that um, was th the seat was red and the base was blue. And these are really, really expensive. Um, and therefore, uh, feeding a child, it's a feeder seat. So the seat is adjustable in the wedge and it's connected with Velcro. Um, I picked this up at a volunteers of America for $8. I don't think they knew what they had. I don't think they know what knew what it was. And I sold this for 200. I think I took a best offer on this for about 200. So if you see this kind of thing, this is not something that you have to have a prescription to buy. So it's it's not durable medical equipment in that sense. Um, this is something you can buy out of a catalog if you can find them, but they're really super expensive. This is a set of vintage Apple speakers. I bought um, I bought a lot of these uh, a, a lot of Apple equipment. It was an entire Apple setup with printer and everything uh, for 50 bucks. And I sold the hard drive, the printer, um, an, an external CD, and these. Um, and all of them had done pretty well for me. So these sold for $89. I believe they were on sale. So don't be afraid of that vintage Apple stuff. All right. In the same Goodwill at the same time that I bought the... Um, Mustang emblem they had these hubcaps and I wasn't sure exactly what hubcaps what these were for but I just thought they're cool they're vintage and I bet there's some money in them so picked them up this one is actually damaged it you can see one of the spinners is missing but um, I actually posted a picture in the reseller society uh, Facebook group and somebody helped me out with the emblem and they are actually um, for a Ford Mustang or Ford Fairlane um, and I took a best offer of I think it was 125 on these um, this is a terrible picture because it's an old listing but this is a brother knitting machine that I picked up in a thrift store for um, 20 bucks and you know, I don't know much about them, so it's not tested. Wasn't able to, to tell them whether it worked or not. Was just able to show them some pictures of it. But um, it did pretty well. And, um, I, you know, these are really super heavy. And they're, you know, 40 inches long. So they're kind of a pain to ship. But certainly worth the effort. An old Toshiba boombox. I think I might have had one of these when I was a kid. Um, the tape did not work on this, but I still got a really good return on my investment. I think I paid like five, five, six dollars for this. Um, this is a clearly a Bud Light Coleman uh, cooler, Coleman cooler, and I got this for free. And um, so my husband got some promotional stuff at his store and, and he gave me the cooler. And um, so I don't have anything invested in it. I sold it for $90.
And these I didn't know anything about. I just thought they were cool. And I looked them up in the store and uh, saw that they sell fairly well. I did not come with the pieces for these, but both of them worked when I tested them. Um, I think I paid $5 for the pair. Um, they're just old um, electronic chess boards, and they do talk, and um, they, there's a, a screen on them. So, And finally, this is a pregnancy pillow. So for you guys that have never been pregnant, this is super relieving um, for stress on your back and um, really comfortable. This is a, a really large pillow, um, which is why the, the shipping was so much. Um, but I think I paid three bucks for this and got a, a really decent return on it. But um, it was it looked like it had not really been used. It was in excellent condition. But those are the, the items that I wanted to sell um, or wanted to show you that I sold in the past month. And um, I encourage you to keep going. You know, the trick to this business is to continue to list. I try to list something every day. Um, it has made the difference in my business. Um, I'm just under 400 listings now, and for the last couple weeks, I have sold something every day, usually multiple items every day. And I'll, some of them are smalls, and you know, I'm only making 12, 15 bucks, or you know, the price is 12, 15 bucks. But once I get those cycled out, um, I intend to fill my store with things that are a little more expensive, around the $30 era area and up. Um, but keep listing. Listing is the trick to get your, your stuff to sell. All right, kids, have a good day.